Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. I was asked a question. Is it possible to use a float valve halfway up a hill on a stock tank, and then when the float valve closes, the ram pump will send water further up the hill? Well, let's find out. I've got a three quarter inch pump set up with a bucket and a float valve up on the hill and we will see if it's possible to stop the water at one point and let it continue up the hill further on. Normally you would install your ram pump into a creek. I have it here on the side of my hill for testing purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water on. The pump is going to start cycling here as you can see. I'm gonna turn the delivery pipe on and that's gonna send water through this garden hose up about 20 feet above this location. This is my setup. The bucket is gonna represent a stock tank or whatever you need to fill first. I've got a float valve in here, which will uh, turn the water off from going into the bucket. And then hopefully the water will continue uphill through this T. So I've got the uh, water here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this hooked up. And now the other side is going to get a hose as well. The water is going to find the path of least resistance, which is gonna be going down into the bucket here. All right. As you can see, the water is going down into the bucket. Whenever this closes, the hope is that it will send water uphill further on. But for now, we wait. The bucket is almost full, and I can tell that the float valve is just about to completely stop that uh, from going uphill. Now there may be one thing that happens, you may have already noticed it. If this stock tank is full and water starts going up further on the delivery pipe and you uh, drain the water out of this bucket, all the water from up top is now going to drain back down. One of the things you could do to prevent that is to put an inline valve right here and that would keep all the water from this point uphill. And so if this drops low, this isn't going to be affected. Because as it is right now, it's going to take a good bit longer for the water to go up here and um, continue to the top before it gets there. So just a thought, but I think we're about done here. So let's wait for this uh, further delivery pipe to get filled. As you can see, the water has filled the bucket, stopped the flow into the bucket with the float valve, and then has filled the delivery pipe up here to the top. So as soon as I drain some water out of that bucket, this is gonna stop and the water that's in here is gonna flow back down unless we had put that inline valve in place. So before we do that, uh, I wanted to mention that I have four different sizes of ram pump available. I'll have links in the description down below. There you have it. The water is coming up from the ram pump, but also back down from the upper portion of the delivery pipe. All right, there we go. It is possible to use the ram pump to lift water uphill to a stock tank, use a float valve to turn the water off into that tank, and then send the water further somewhere else. Now there is a practical application for this. Let's say you're filling a stock tank in a field and you don't want the excess water to run over into that uh, area where your animals are gonna be standing. Then you could take that delivery and send it a little further away and that would keep the water from spilling over there in your spot. And it also keeps the pump running and pumping so that back pressure isn't lost whenever that tank is, uh, is lowered too quickly. I hope that makes sense. Um, now, if you do need to use the water further uphill, I would put a inline valve right after that tank to keep the water in that line so that it doesn't have to refill every time. Hope you found this video helpful. I'm Seth with Land of House, and I will see you in the next video.